Good morning. My name is Warren and I'm from Manaka City Baptist Church. Before I start with the devotion on effective prayers, I'll just share a joke with you. There were two kids aged five and seven and they had been on holiday at their grandparents' house. Now after dinner, the grandmother said, it's, it's your time to go to bed, but don't forget to pray. They went in their, into their rooms and then the younger one started praying. Lord Jesus, can I please have PlayStation? Lord Jesus, can I have a Lego toy? Lord Jesus, can I have an electric skateboard? The elder brother looked at him and he said, Hey, why are you yelling? You know, God can listen to our whisper. The younger one said, Yes, God does listen to our whisper, but not our grandma. Okay. Prayers. I strongly believe in prayers. Why? I believe God is alive and active. God always hears us and is willing to talk to us. Prayer is an opportunity to spend time with God. Look at this John 15:15. 15, 15. Jesus says he no longer calls us his servant, but he calls us his friends. Talking to God develops our relationship with God. There are few, there are many prayers in Bible, but I like few of them, and I'll just share those with you. The prayer of Jabez, one Chronicle four ten. Jabez cried out to the Lord of Israel, "Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory! Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm, so that I will be free from pain." And God granted his request. Now just briefly. Oh, that you would bless me. Jabez knew and believed that the only source of blessings would come from God. Then he says, enlarge my territory. Territory does not really mean physical land. What he means over here is that God would enlarge the territory of his heart that it may overflow to those around him. He wanted to reach others for the sake of God's kingdom. Let your hand be with me. We all know and we all should know that we need God's hand to lead us and guide us. Jabez knew this very well. Keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. Again, the Hebrew word of Jabez means he causes pain. Jabez asked God to free him from harm so that the pain may not befall him. Perhaps Jabez needed strength and he knew that he would get his strength from God. There are a few other prayers in Bible which I like. One is Jonah's prayer for salvation, that is Jonah chapter 2 verses 2 to 9. There is David's prayer for deliverance, Psalm 3. There is Hannah's prayer of praise, 1 Samuel chapter 2 verses 1 to 10. Uh, this prayer uh, we often ask God but then we thank to uh, thank God and that is, I like this prayer too. Now one prayer we all often say and that is Lord's Prayer and that is a true classic prayer. It, this prayer is with real power. God's kingdom coming, God will be done, God's will will be done. All that we need for the day, it is truly power packed prayer. We need prayer right now is for three R according to me. One is rain, we need rains in Auckland. The other one is redundancy. People have been made redundancy. We need to pray for them. And the other R is to retaining those jobs. So please pray about it. To end this, I will just, will just finish up with Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, your power, and your glory be yours for ever and ever, Lord. Amen. Done. So pray. Keep on praying.